Time to start working on the Oldsmobile. Again. Yeah, maybe third time's a charm. So, where we're at, from the firewall back, the plan's a little, uh, eh, fuzzy. But, up here, what we're gonna do, all this is getting painted body color. Stuff's on the firewall, just clean it, detail it, make it look pretty. We're gonna get rid of, you know, stuff like this. Anything that doesn't need to be in here, it's going bye-bye. You know, hide the wiring, hide whatever we can, because the idea is when you open up the hood, the only thing that really catches your eye is a nice shiny motor. It's kind of like a jewelry box. You open it up and you got the ring inside. It's kind of the idea. That's easy. This is where the problem is. All this was designed around a tube grill that we're not going to use. Now that we're using the stock grill, nothing fits, including the grill. I'll show you what I mean. Because that got extended down, this piece doesn't fit anymore. And once I get that fitting, then those things will mount. Now, I have to get the grill to fit because everything is built around the grill. What we're going to do here is just close this hole right off, run a plate across, even with the grill. It'll come up and it'll tie into this angle here. This will come out and down flat and then it'll just curve back in at the bottom. So that takes care of this. Now this hole here, what I'm going to do I'm going to add a piece from here and just follow the body, follow the grill all the way out. Then we get to here, it's just going to curve down, tie into this plate, close all this off, both sides. Now this, this look, this rat support looks like it's off a different car and they just stuck it in here. I'm going to take this line here, I'm going to extend it out and just run it along the front into there and then same thing here just close that off tie that in just make this look look like it's supposed to be there and the bumper this just gets trimmed back to fit the grill the bumper will come up to somewhere in here I'll just fi finish this off put a plate across the top so the bumper will go like that, and then the hood, that piece right there, when that comes down, it'll come down just like that and line up with the bumper. That's, that's the idea. It'll probably change as we go, but that's the idea so far. So step one, make the grill fit. So way back when this project started, like forever ago, the plan was we were going to run the, the stock grill. So I started trimming this back. Originally this came out to, you know, way out here, fill in the gap to the bumper. Well, then they decided they wanted the tube grill, so these things got tossed back in the car and forgotten about. So now, back at it again. The current problem that lip is catching catching the fender because the fender got extended down. So I'm gonna try. If I remove that, I should it should fit. Then after that, this piece here, I can trim this way back because if you look, when that's together, you don't even see this, so I'm just gonna probably run a tape. Strip a masking tape along there, trim that back, get that out of the way, and then same thing on here. I'm just going to get rid of get rid of this, take it right back to that edge right there, clean it up right up to there. So that's yeah. I'll try that, see if it works or not. Probably not.
No more lip. Now it fits. Cool. We're in business. Here's the idea. Just cut along the line. Be easy about a bad saw. Well, I do. Kinda. It's a work in progress. It works, but she got no teeth. So the backup plan. Yeah, it looks sketchy, but it works. How'd you like the jigsaw and the vice trick? That's that edge roughed in. Now I'm just going to take a sanding block <clears throat> and just finish that off. Should be good. So that's what it looks like with the grill in it. And it doesn't look, doesn't look horrible. Looks not, not too bad. Yeah, this, this all looks good. Looks better. The bumper looks better going underneath than butting up against the grill. So, yeah, I'm happy with all that turned out. But we have problems. To have this go underneath, the bumper's too low, which screws up our gaps. And then there's another, another little issue. Follow that line and follow the line there. See a problem? And it's the same thing on this side, which is just how the bumper was pressed. They couldn't get a sharp bend like that, and, you know, the bumper originally was way the hell out here, so. Yeah, just another thing i got to fix. But as far as the bumper goes, there's a lot of things i got to fix. I forgot this bumper's got issues, like that dent, and... Yep, a bunch of other stuff. So, what we'll do... Worry about that another day. Now, the grill fits in good, lines up, lines up pretty good actually. But we got one problem. And that's right there. See a little chunk of plastic? That's got to go. Because that just looks... It looks out of place. From like there, that way, it's fine because you'll never see it. But like right there, you hardly see it. But I can see it, so we got to fix it. But to fix that leads to yet another problem. I'll take this apart and show you. So that's the piece right there that just does not want to get with the program, so you know, it can get cut back to probably about there. But if we remove that, that removes all the strength for this corner, which means it's going to crack because this is old and brittle and it's already broken. I'm going to fix that. But I have an idea. 
it might work. We'll see. So there's a piece that's causing the problem right there. So I'm just going to cut that off. Probably cut it off in line with the support. But you can see the problem that's going to cause. Get rid of that. There's no strength for this corner. Not too big of a deal, but what I'm going to do, I had to do a repair on this thing anyway. It's broken. But what I'm going to do here, I've got this piece, piece we cut off of there. I'm just going to cut a little chunk, glue it in like that, just cut it off right at the support. That'll work. Do the same thing on this side. Yeah, quick and easy. That's the idea. Got it all cleaned up, ready to go. Time to schmoo it together. Just like that. All done. Once that kicks, I'm gonna do a little schmear on the other side. And theoretically, that should be it for the grill. Hopefully. That looks better. So that's the grill sorted. So next thing, I was thinking, trim back that edge on the hood. So here's my idea. I was looking at these little ridges and got me thinking. I'm going to extend that to the edge of the ridge. If you look, From the ridge to the edge, about three quarters of an inch. If we go half inch overlap, leaves us quarter inch for a gap. Oh, should work. And then down here, I'm just going to take that edge, trim that back, and just have just be three quarters of an inch gap all the way along. And then same thing for the piece here. We'll just recess it back three quarters of an inch. Well, should work. That's the next step. Start trimming. So there's the cut line. And all I did, I just closed the hood, took a piece of chalk, traced the line off the grill. That's three quarter inch masking tape. So that gives me like cut line. And then after it's cut, I'll take half inch tape, do the same thing. And then that little quarter inch strip that's sticking out, I'll just take that, fold it up, reinforce the edge. Done. Nice and simple. So there's the half inch tape. And you can see that little piece there. Just, that gets folded around. That strengthens up the edge. But it also uh, 
hides the fact how crooked those cuts are. Yeesh. So that's the hood done. Didn't turn out too bad. Yep, still fits. Didn't cut it too short. Perfect. So now that the hood's done, started working on this. You can kind of get the idea where we're going now. When I do the top of the bumper, this fits underneath. Then the hood comes down, close this in. That's the idea. Kind of finishes it off a bit better. I gotta trim all this back. Should work. That's our pieces cut, cut and bent. And it looks like we got a whole bunch of trimming to do, but looks like it might actually work. Should be good. So that's kind of the look we're going for. It's fitting pretty close now. Close enough to weld anyway. But that's the idea. Got the even gap all the way around. Well, even-ish. But as you can see, I got another little problem right in there. And with that bolt for the grill right there, can't cut that right out. So what we'll do, I'll show you on this side. We're just gonna cut that corner off. We'll trim it in and just get rid of that corner. Paint it black, you'll never see it. But 
that's the thing when you start doing stuff like this. You change one thing, then you got to change another thing, and this is where it just starts taking forever. So, especially on this one, you got to just get it close, know when to stop. So now that the grill's out, you can see kind of where, what's going on. I'm just going to extend that line out to that right there. That's the edge of our new piece. So I'm just going to get rid of that corner. This is just kind of a weird spot now, so I'll just get rid of it. And that should do it. And then I drew a line here, because i got to trim this to get the, get the little reveal part on the grill. So, yep, that's next step. So there's our piece tacked in. I'll go and weld it in solid, grind it up, fine tune that edge, and then repeat the process over here. So that's those pieces done. That looks better. So now, I think, yeah, I'll probably do this piece. I gotta build a piece for along there, fill all that in, wrap a piece around there, fill that in, yeah, long way to go yet, but that's definitely looking a lot better. So, coming along, got the body line filled in, that filled in, nice and smooth now, I'm just fitting the uh, little filler piece, getting the angle figured out, and get that welded in, carry on. So that's the idea. It's subtle, it just kind of finishes it off. Just got to make a little piece for in there. So that's that piece welded in. Finished out not bad. It's starting to look like something now. Here's our next piece. Goes in something like that. Yeah, that's the idea. Weld, grind, repeat. All done. That looks a bit better. So that's the grill and red sport done. Next step, bumper. That's the next video.